Welcome to Future Wrestling Special Event Breaking the Chains. I'm Wayne Bates alongside my broadcast partner, Scotty Bear. Welcome, Scotty. Thanks for having me here, Wayne. Can't believe I'm stuck here at Breaking the Chains. God. What's wrong with Breaking the Chains? I need to talk to my agent. I need to talk to my agent. He should be paying me more for this stuff. Jeez. Uh, this is the special event for Future Wrestling, though, Scotty. You gotta be excited. Get pumped up, because we got a lot of matches set for tonight, especially the very first match of the night. And that is for the Women's Championship of Future Wrestling. And you know damn well Tony Storm is going to come in here trying to defend her title against the two opponents, Victoria Martinez, which you know specifically. You know specifically about Victoria Martinez. Who is she uh, married to? She's married to the greatest wrestler of all time, Roderick Strong. Yes, yes, sir. And she actually joined Undisputed Era in FOW. And their opponents also is Trish Stratus in this triple threat match. And you saw the ladder match between Tony Storm and Trish Stratus one-on-one. -on -one. So this should be a pretty damn good match. It should be a very, very interesting one. But I must say, I do love Trish Stratus with a face mask instead of her normal face. A fa you, you are downright evil. That is wrong. As you can Look see, at it. It just, it just deserves a mask. It doesn't need a mask. She is gorgeous. She still looks younger than ever. And she even showed that against Tony Storm at Destined for Greatness. She may have put out a great performance, but is she going to do well in this triple threat match? I do not think so. Well, she is the veteran in this match. And she's going up against two young, up-and-coming superstars in FOW. Victoria Martinez, who really hasn't gotten that golden opportunity for a championship yet. So this is a big opportunity for her. Let's see how Victoria handles this crowd out here tonight. Seems like a very, very unhappy crowd about my favorite wrestler's wife. Can't believe them. Oh, come on. The crowd is going to be all right. The, the, they got to get pumped up, especially when they see probably their best and favorite female wrestler, Tony Storm, the future wrestling women's championship of this uh, company. So I don't know why my you're money is all on Victoria. I don't know why you always well hated. because because Victoria deserves more and deserves better. She should be the champion. Well, she has that golden opportunity tonight. Can she seize the moment? And I love this entrance theme song for Tony Storm as well. It sounds like a bad poison song. <laughs> bad poison song. You are evil. I'm telling you right now. Think, the women's title deserves looks way way better on Victoria for sure. Well, she she has this chance to um, show everybody exactly who she is. She has this opportunity to shut everyone up and also make you sound right in this situation. So I guess your early odds are um, Victoria Martinez in this triple threat, obviously. Absolutely, she is going to be the one to watch out for. Especially if Trish doesn't want to be put back in that mask in 2005. So wrong. So wrong. But that's what it's for. The Women's Championship of FOW. I'm excited about this pay-per-view. Well, this FOW special. It's not exactly a, a pay-per-view, but... <laughs> we have, uh, in my opinion, WWE WrestleMania-type matches tonight. Indeed, indeed. But my girl Victoria starting off quick with Trish. Yes, she was. She was just the, the forearms and big time suplex to Victoria by Tony Storm. 
and look at Victoria Martinez there, uh, Scotty. She was showboating on the ring. Just Victor Victoria needs to keep focus on this triple threat to win it. She does not want Tony Storm to come up and quickly win this match for sure. Well, you, you, you act like uh, Trish Stratus is going to be beaten in like five seconds. I don't think it's going to be five seconds. I think it's going to be five minutes. Oh, did you see that neckbreaker by Victoria Martinez? Oh, and a drop kick by Trish Stratus. Indeed, indeed, indeed. But I'm wondering what Tony Storm is doing on the outside. Is she looking for some sort of weaponry? Uh, that was a good, uh, good prediction there. I think it's uh, oh, going for the cover though. But I think, I think for me, it's Tony Storm was just let, letting the two other women, uh, you know, weaken each other, and then seize that opportunity to get the quick win. A cheap champion is not a good champion. Looking for weapons to destroy other women? By God, I cannot believe it. Oh, well, will you be serious? Oh, and Trish Stratus hitting a neckbreaker. So, earlier on, look at these odds right now. You see, Victoria Martinez is actually in control of this match right now. Indeed, she should be. If she keeps on with Tony Storm and watching that neck, oh, she needs to, you know, reverse stuff like that. But if she could get Tori, or not, yes, Tony, in this match, she could be very, very easy. Put that one up in the Botchamania Files too, people. You're always uh, just so negative towards the other women. It's like you pick one person and a big time jawbreaker. Trish Stratus is showing that she has not lost a step again in this kind of match. You know, she she did beat Rhea Ripley to move on to Destiny. Well, she hasn't lost a she hasn't lost a step into the boys' locker room either. Oh my goodness. You had to go there, didn't you? Yeah. Seen those videos online. Very, very special videos. Like this special uh, FOW event here. Indeed, oh, indeed. Look at that backbreaker. Mm. Then she started wrenching the back on her knee. Yeah. I'll be. I'm very, very concerned about Tony Storm right now. She seems to be getting a lot of heat and going forward with it. Victoria or Trish need to stop this Ooh. immediately. Yeah, when well, you saw that melee kick by Tony Storm, you don't normally see that because this be your Kick out! And she did kick out there, Scotty. Man, you almost blew my eardrums off there uh, beside me. You know, I need to see Victoria win this match. She deserves it so, so oh, much. Oh, she could Get do it. Ruffle's um, too slow. Yeah, and Trish Stratus accidentally beat up the referee there. <laughs> DQ! DQ! Yeah. She should be thrown out of this match immediately. You do realize if the referee Cannot was... Cannot believe it. You do realize if the referee was on his back, Tony Storm would have done had a pinfall for like five minutes. Exactly. I cannot believe this ref. This ref needs to be back in the gym, lifting some more weights. Getting all better like Hulk Hogan over here. Oh, step up in Stagurri, but did not knock Trish Stratus down. Oh. What the heck was that? She, she just the kicked target. the middle of the air. Oh, and a big time DDT. Trish Stratus, it looked like she moved just a tad bit for uh, Tony Storm to miss that drop kick. It did, definitely did. Victoria, come on! All these women are just stepping out of the way because, you know, you got two opponents. Mm -hmm. look, Victoria. Come on, get the cover! Oh, and Trish Stratus. Ref is so slow, I cannot believe this. Will you calm down, Scotty? Jeez. Oh, back break. Oh, she hit the backstabber. Oh, that's not even close to the ropes. Oh! Just leg drop the referee to take and break up that pinfall. Hurricane on Tony Storm. I cannot believe this. Tony Storm has now hit the ref twice in this match. I cannot believe it. Oh, German this is, suplex. Why is why is Victoria not claimed champion now? 
Both of the other wrestlers have hit the ref. I cannot yep. believe this. Well, she hit that German suplex the second time with a bridge, but the referee was down, so... Oh, and a drop kick. Call that a uh, mistake. Oh, not only a good, one Good, good, good. Good, Victoria. That's a great job. He would, he would clap for that. I'd be very, very careful with Victoria. Oh, oh no. Oh! Double arm, sit down, power bomb, but a kick out of two. Good job, Victoria. Good job. Oh, I'm telling you, Victoria oh. needs to be watching out. Electric chair by Trish Stratus. Who, who in your right mind, in your opinion, Scotty, who has the uh, momentum right now? It's it's really looking like Tori Storm right now. Oh. Or Tony Storm, whatever her name is. I'm just very, very cautious of her neck as well. I mean, if she gets hit anywhere underneath the head, it's going to be lights out for her for sure. Yeah, well, you saw her get knocked off the, the top rope to the outside. Uh-oh, another double arm neck breaker. Ooh, that was decent, but the referee could not get the pinfall because of Tony Storm. Again, Tony Storm informing the ref in some odd way. I cannot believe this. Uh, what do you mean? I mean, she's blatantly blocking the ref this whole entire match. I cannot believe this. Oh, and a cross body to Victoria. I, I can't believe you're being so negative, but although Trish Stratus is trying to steal one, right in front of Tony Storm, too, and a bulldog. One, two, come on, kick out. Yes. Victoria. My girl has, still has a chance. Oh, yeah, yes, she does, but now Trish Stratus is starting to get taken care of by Tony Storm. And what's that German suplex into the bridge? This could be it. Oh! I cannot believe this! Tony Storm retains the FOW Women's Championship, and I know you're very disappointed, but what a match! Victoria didn't even get, didn't, didn't take the pinfall, so you should be happy about that. I know. She should be the number one contender next time. I cannot believe this. Especially with that rope break attempt. That was not even close to the ropes. And then when the referee was down, she had, she had a three count there on Victoria. Maybe Victoria will be the the next challenger because Trish Stratus has now lost two in a row to Tony Storm, technically. Yeah, back of the line. Go back to 2005 with that stupid mask of yours as well. Oh my goodness. But as you can see, Tony Storm retaining the FOW Championship tonight. And that was a decent triple threat by these women. Indeed it was, but I still think Victoria should have won. Manyest of times. Uh, I agree with you on that a little bit. I mean, uh, but uh, maybe Victoria will get an opportunity. We, we'll have to see about that. And there's a lot of other ladies, you know, that they're in the line as well that want to come up. But uh, next up for future wrestling special, Breaking the Chains, which I love this logo, by the way. Shout out to Matt Tennant for that one. But up next, Scotty, this is going to be a good tag team match. The Young Bucks will defend the FOW Tag Team Champions against Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson of the Ballard Club. Any It'll be questions? great to see these boys up. It's going to be see. It's going to be great to see all these competitors in action. But my hands are going to be tied with the Balor Club. I can't believe you're always picking somebody. You're not. You're. You're always picking a side. You. You, you can't be straight down the middle. How could you? I just can't wait to see this match in, unfold. And I will say, Luke Gallows, Car Anderson, they didn't really earn this opportunity. They're being given this opportunity, and they should take it while they can. I think we can agree Indeed. on Indeed. But those vanilla midgets should never be champion. What, the Young Bucks? The Young Bucks. I can't believe them. 
coming all the way over here. Oh, we're going to be the best tag team in the world. No, it's going to be Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows who are going to be the best tag team in the world. Well, we've seen one championship not change hands tonight. And all five champions in FOW are on the line tonight. So, uh, could this be the first title change of the night? Yes, it will. Well, you're very positive on that. I know my prediction about the women's match was not even close, but I got a good feeling about this one. Well, we, we should see these two guys. Uh, they're really hard to beat, and you know they're talented. You got the big man, and they got the speed of Carl Anderson taking on uh, you know the young bucks who don't really have a big guy on their team like uh, our Luke Gallows, don't they? Exactly. But the two heavyweights will always, always beat two juniors every single day. Well, we shall see if they have the opportunity as the Young Bucks are coming out. Now, which one's back and which one's Nick? I keep on forgetting. Matt is on the uh, left and Nick is on the... Well, Matt's on the right now, but Nick's on the left. Who cares? They're still vanilla midgets. They, they're, aren't they twins? Because they... they It's hard to really, uh... Yeah, I think they're not actually twins. But guess what? They're twin vanilla midgets. They, they might not Only be Only thing they got is a good twins. move, and that's it. What, the super kick? You know, they do have that super kick party. Yeah, and that's it. Nothing else. Look at them. All oh, weird, weird to be taking in the world. No, you're not. It's Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows who are the best tag team in the world. Well, <clears throat> that's what it's for. As we go down to the ringside to introduce the tag teams. And that is Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson. And their opponents, the FOW Tag Team Champions, the Young Bucks. So your early Mini Triple H. <laughs> mini Triple H and Mini Shawn Michaels. Only thing they can do. Can't believe them. Uh, well, we, we shall see, you know, who the best tag team is. Uh, I, I know your predictions are already uh, pretty much uh, secured, so... You like them tag team champions right there. They look beautiful. The belts will look way better around Luke and Car Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows' waist. Well, you know, to start off, it looks like the big man's in. Ooh, big time. Oh, back up in. Look. Matt is not scared of Luke Gallows. But as you can see, just shoving him down. Just nothing. You see, I told you, two heavyweights beat up two juniors every single day. Well, right now, Luke Gallows is showing the, you know, his, his strength and how big he is. Oh, man, just the nerve on the shoulder. That could paralyze you if you hit the wrong, the wrong section of the shoulder, too. I know, especially with Nick's back, or wait, who's this? Matt? Matt. Yes, Matt. Matt's back problems. You got to be very, Ooh. very careful. Did you see that tag team? Take him a little harder next time. That that was some good tag team wrestling right there, and uh, you can see you already got a tag to Carter Anderson. Oh, Matt miss it. Matt uh, blocked that dr uh, drop kick, a clothesline. And then drop kicks Carl down. Oh, big time forearm. Looks like a tag to Nick. Yes, it is. What is this now? Scotty, what is this move? Oh! oh. My goodness! Lights that out. That doesn't look too good for Carl. No, it doesn't. I've never seen that type of uh, tag team maneuver. Oh, nice block and the chop. And then a big time right hand and a clothesline. Knocking Nick down. Ooh. Carl and Luke need to stop the momentum as soon as they can with these bucks. 
when they get the momentum, it's going to be all of them. Keep on them, keep them slow, and keep them riding in pain. Oh, chop back! Look, these guys are just fighting. Come on, Carl. Ooh, Ooh. Man. run the back. Yeah, oh, he, Matt really wanted that tag, but Doc could not get it. This is smart tag team wrestling by Carl Anderson getting the... Oh! Oh, look! Nick tried to... Cheap shot. Can't believe it. The champ's using cheap tactics. Oh, what do you expect? He's, you know, on the other side of the corner. Oh, man! Look at that kick. You don't see Luke... You don't see Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson using cheap tactics in this match. I give you that one. But Nick trying to fight out of the uh, their corner, the bad corner. Carl Anderson is just not having any of it. Now tagging in Luke Gallows, and what is this? Oh, right to the oh. What is Luke Gallows thinking? Ooh, snake eyes. Ooh, oh, snake eyes. Ooh, yes. He, he needs to keep on doing that. He needs to keep uh -huh. on working him. Ooh. He's the faster of the two bucks. Slow him down. Get the get the pace lowered, and they'll win this match for sure. Yeah, and right now you can see Luke Gallows is just overpowering the young bucks right now. Nick and Matt both can't even get... Can Nick get the hot tag, though, and they'll stop them automatically in a... Big kick to the. Uh, I hate when you see somebody get kicked right in the like, leg like that. But it's good tactics, especially with the Anderson oh. and Gallows. They need to work on those legs to keep them solid and stay down. And you saw that the reversal by Nick in the corner, and then Luke Gallows, he tried to run to get the tag, and Luke Gallows just. Nope. He just intercepted Nick. Yes. Exactly. Keep the pace slow. That's what they need to do. And he's working on Nick. Oh, Nick is just like, what do I got to do to knock this big man down? So far, There's so nothing good. you could do. He's a junior. Oh, 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 oh. Man, you know the air has been knocked out of Nick. Exactly. Keep him low. Keep him slow. These boys are going to get him good. Some ta good tag team wrestling by the the Good Brothers. Exactly. And then Nick good Brothers need to keep them slow. And the tag the exactly. Carl Anderson. Smart. Just keep each man fresh. You see, no cheap tactics. Always tagging in when needed, and if they need to, do a double team. But other than that, they are Ooh. not using any sort of cheap tactics. Well, you see, there's one thing, you know, that Luke Gallo's tagging out, you know, the bigger the two of the good brothers. But Carl Anderson, is, he's not no uh, easy target. Exactly. That person, oh, shoulder. Again, the cheap tactics. I can't believe these bucks. Well, anything, I mean... Cheap shots can win the match. But they're the champs. They should be able to do this without using cheap tactics. Well, that is the truth. But... What is this? Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh, did you see that? Oh, super That DT kick. looked nasty for sure. Super Again, kick. what's what up with this? these? Oh my goodness. Oh my DT What is up with these the cheap tactics? Break. This could be it, if he goes for the cover on Carl. But Luke Gallows... What are they doing now? Oh... Oh, dumb super kick! What is Nick doing? Oh, Can't believe Again! Knocking Luke Gallows out, could this be it? And it's over! Cheap tactics! Cheap, cheap, cheap tactics! But it got the job done, you gotta admit. The Good Brothers were screwed in this match. I can't believe it. Cheap tactics by the Young Bucks. Why do they cheat? Uh, they got the job done. I guess that was the only uh, thought in their minds was... Uh... 
cheat to win. I thought this match was going to be over for the, the Young Bucks because uh, the, the tag team wrestling of Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. But at the end of the day, the Young Bucks' cheat tactics, like you said, you know, kind of cost the, the Good Brothers the match. And they retain. Can't believe it. Who can stop the Young Bucks? That's the question. If they could stop cheating, maybe somebody. Uh, that, that's the, that is the truth. I would like to see uh, these two tag teams go at it again, and maybe next time they won't cheat to win. But that was a decent tag team match. I give a, I give a, the Good Brothers some props. Next thing you know, you're going to be all Meltzer up in here. I can't believe it. So what are you trying to say? The Young Bucks are true now? Exactly. They're stupid tuna. Stupid vanilla tuna. Tuna. Put that one in your bunch of mini clips too. Well, that being said, uh, up next, probably one of the biggest triple threat matches in FOW history for the Bantamweight Championship. Pack Kota Ibushi, Ricochet, triple threat for the Bantamweight Championship. And this should be good because we saw it destined for greatness. Uh, Pack actually defeated Kota Ibushi in, his ver in Kota Ibushi's very first title defense after beating Tanahashi in the, first, in the second episode of FOW. So, any early uh, predictions of this triple threat match? Thoughts are sporadic. Pac is going to win in it. Well, Pac could uh, actually... You're actually picking somebody that's actually the championship this time. I'm very shocked. Yeah, if the others wouldn't stop cheating, maybe I would pick a champion. Well, Pac... Can't believe him. Pac is a really, uh, really aggressive wrestler. You know, he showed that against Kota Bushi at Dustin for Greatness, and... This should be a, a, an awesome match one on, in a triple threat because you add Ricochet to the conversation. And out comes Kota Ibushi. Look at this. Can't believe him. What, what, can you, what, what can't you believe about Kota Ibushi? What is he good with? He can't even do a good rest hold right. All he's got to do is flippy stuff. Oh, come on. Look at him. He's flippy into the ring. Look at him. Well, he is the, the very first Bantamweight champion. And, I mean, yeah, he lost on his very first title defense, but he's coming in this match with an opportunity. And I'm just being told that this actually might be... No, I'm actually wording my headset right now. That this triple threat match is now an elimination triple threat match. I can't believe it. Who's changing this booking on the fly? Uh, whoever the president of FOW, Jim Tunney. Jim Tunney. Can't believe him. And then here's another flippy dude. Can't believe him. Oh, I gotta do a 630 to get this win. Oh. What happened to a good old fashioned leg drop? Oh, so so you're gonna pick a guy like Pac who does the flippy floppity shit too. But at least he can wrestle. Oh, you get out of here! I think this you is see, gonna be. If Pac were to wrestle in the, if you see if Pac were to wrestle in the heavyweights, he may do a little bit. But guess what? He would still wrestle. Ricochet Kurobushi can wrestle too without the flippy floppy crap. I'm betting they couldn't. Well, we're gonna about to find out. Bet if I would bet 50 pennies they wouldn't. 50 pennies. Really? 50 pennies. <laughs> 50 cent. Should I call 50 cent to be a, a commentator? Hey now. And here's your boy. Here he comes. 
the Bantamweight Championship of FOW back. Look how aggressive he is. Dangerous. He looks When desperate. he gets those Saturns on, exactly. When he gets that Saturn on, he's going to make sure to people, he'll make them tap immediately. Immediately. Well, we no see. way of escape. Look at him. He is just, look at his face. Look at his facial expressions. It speaks volumes. I think that's part of the reason why he beat Kota Bushi is just he's the determination on the face. Looks roidier than ever. No roids here, but roidy as well. He's dangerous, I will tell you that right now. He showed that and proved that at Destined for Greatness against Kota Ibushi. Showing everyone that he is one of the most dangerous wrestlers in FOW and he is here to stay. So this is an elimination match, right? Yes, I'm uh, being told in my headset that yes, this is an elimination triple threat match. Okay, if I am Pac, I'm staying out of the ring as much as I can. Let the other two battle for a moment, and then sneak in and get a pin. Then, sneak up, get another pin on the other guy. Well, hang on, hang on. All I would do... Oh, yeah, and then look. You see? Look at this! Pac knows what to do. Yeah, well, we thought Kota Bushi was actually gonna... Oh, Pac, look, look, look at Pac. Just come, come up behind somebody and beat him up, yeah. But you complained about Tony Storm doing that earlier as the champion. Well, you see, it's, it's good enough that... What the heck? Oh, my goodness. What was Ricochet doing? When did Ricochet learn how to do submissions? Well, he's got a... I guess he had to pull out some something out of his arsenal because of facing a guy like Pac. Oh my... Now Kota Bushi... Hip toss into the headlock. I'm telling you right now, this could be a really good, you know, high-flying triple threat match. I will say this. If it gets high-flying, Pac has no chance of Ooh. winning. He's got to keep him steady on the ground. Work the head. Especially yeah. with Kota Ibushi. Exactly. Did you see that, that flip kick to Pac? Right in the face. See? Told you. Flippy stuff. <laughs> Ricochet. Oh my god. Well, that's what you get for flo uh, show bloat. Uh, not being show bloat. Oh, Jesus. Showboating. Ha! Ah, Botchamania, two for one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh my goodness! Double arm German suplex to Kota Ibushi. Going big time. Backdrop by Ricochet. Oh, flying senton. I don't understand this. Why do you gotta do so many flippy stuff? Keep wrestling. All it's gonna do to you is injure yourself in the future. Can't believe it. Well, this is future wrestling. Irish with the pop. Oh! Did you see Pop actually ducked out of that that kick by Ricochet, but Lant got hit by the drop kick by Coda. What is Ricochet doing? Oh, flying uppercut! That was good. Could this be it? Could Coda Bushi be eliminated? And no. Uh, good thing Pac stayed away from this fight. Let them get eliminated. Don't interfere at all. Ooh. What do you call that maneuver by Ricochet? I don't know. Flippy stuff. <laughs> German suplex into the bridge. This could be it. Is Ricochet eliminated? And only a one count. Straight jacket. Straight jacket suplex. Keep on doing more of those. That was decent, Koto Bushi. What is this? Oh! And see, that might come I back. told you. That might come back to hurt Koto Bushi. I, I told you. Flippy stuff will hurt you in the future. That was a... a oh, what is this? Ooh! And Oof. Pog, Pog needs to start rolling out of the ring immediately. Get some breathing time. Yes, yes he does. And 
Koto Bushi is... Look at that! Look at that reversal by Ricochet coming back in this match. And then Koto Bushi knocking Pac out of the ring. Pac needs to kind of just stay low. Yeah, Pac needs to stay there. low and stay out of the action. Ooh! That was like a Claymore kick. Ricochet could be eliminated. And no, Ricochet kicking out of one. Another hip toss by Coda into the headlock. Ah, wow. now this is a really good triple threat match. I really don't know who could even win this match. We haven't even seen an elimination yet. What is Ricochet oh, going? Oh, here he comes. Oh, and that might come back to haunt him in the end. As Kota Bushi getting Told his you. knees up. Well, and you haven't seen Pop actually do one maneuver like that either yet. So... This could, uh, exactly. He's he's waiting for his moment. When you get the moment right, you do it. Is Ricochet gonna hit it? He hit it. Could this be a kick? Could Obushi be eliminated? And a kick on it too. I thought that was it, didn't you, Scotty? Indeed, I thought it was. But good thing Pox in the ring and taking out Ricochet immediately. Go for the pin! Go for the pin! I don't know what Pox, what was in Pox's mind there. Can't believe him. Cannot believe him. Oh, Come on, this. Pox. Ooh, her Corona by Pox now. Well, now he's Great use of up. Lucha Libre. Oh, what is this? Oh my goodness, Rich in the neck back. Well, Ricochet tap. Oh, and these two no. face. Oh. Oh, Pac Ricochet. just needs to get out of the ring now. Get out of the ring, Pac. Oh, I think Pac is injured, though. He looks injured. Oh! German suplex knocking him right on the stomach. Pac might be eliminated. And only a two oh, good. Now. Good job, Pac. Good job. Good job. Oh, drop kick to the back of the head. He needs to be careful. Yeah, now Kota Bushi is in control of Pac now. This could be it. The ref was way too fast on that count. Can't this, believe it. I don't see how that was true, but... It's blatantly obvious, Wayne. Oh, come on, Scotty. Well, the referee is Asian, so... I don't know if that makes a difference. Wow, racist. Look, you're complaining about him being too fast, too slow. Oh! Ricochet accidentally... What tried was to Ricochet the... doing? I don't understand that. I can't believe him. Well, you should be happy because it... This is elimination. I know, but you should be happy that... I know. Pop was the one one getting pinned. Oh no, Ricochet going up top. What is this now? Is this it? Oh, 630, right? Could this be it on Kota Bushi? Two. Oh, the kick! Wow! Wow! I didn't see that coming. Ricochet, aim for the head! Oh my goodness, he's not Thanos! <laughs> no, he gets. He should be working on the head of Kota Bushi. Kota this? has a previous injury to the head. Uh, what is Kota Bushi thinking? Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Kota Bushi's head just landed on the... Oh my goodness, he just hit the still steps when he landed trying to get that drop kick. I'm telling you, you should be more careful with high-flying maneuvers. I know, and this, this actually might... Kota Bushi might have a concussion. I don't think Kota Bushi's going to be able to win this match. Look, he even was shaking his head trying to get his thoughts back. Oh, no. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. No. Oh. Ricochet went to hit Kota Bushi and missed. And Pop. Can't believe him. Can't believe him. Coming back in this match. Ricochet was smart to roll out of there. Oh, Pac with a reversal. 
Irish whip. Oh, that's a kick. Did you see that? Good kick. And look, it Good didn't kick even by Pop. phase Ricochet. Ricochet. You silly bastard. Come on, Scotty. Man, Ricochet is just showing his, his ability to take pain. Oh, my goodness. Falcon Arrow. That could be it. And only a one count. That was three. That was one. Oh, what, what's next? You that was tell, three. What's next? You guys say the referee was too slow? Uh oh. Maybe. Oh, you saw it. This could be it. What is Ricochet His shoulder was doing? Up. I don't understand why Ricochet did that. I know. Doesn't make any sense at all. Maybe Ricochet, did, uh, you know, has been taking too many hits to the head, so he kind of forgot. Oh no! It's oh my goodness! Crazy. The German suplex. This is when you put on the rings of Saturn. This is when oh, you you, you course. see. Here he goes. Oh, here my. he goes. It's like you're. It's like Look you're Tony Roma calling the moves beforehand. Oh, and he's he fighting tapped, back. He tapped. He's fighting back. He, he didn't tap out. Uh oh. Not another one of them big power I... bombs. Oh, look at Look he at said this. I quit in Japanese. Roma. Referee, get down there. The ref. And only a two count. The ref was slow. That Very ref slow. was slow. That was slow, I'll be honest. I can't believe him. Pop Come on, Pac. Control. You got this. And you see Ricochet's actually smart and, you know, taking a breather here. Letting Pac try to take out Kota Bushi. And now, look, they're, they're about to go in. Forearm shot. Uppercut to Pac. Uh-oh. Oh. Come on, Pac. Come on, Pac. What is Ricochet going to do here? Oh! Look at that hurricanrana. That's a Frankensteiner. Frankensteiner. Uh oh. Could this be it? 6.30 to pop. No, 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 no. Oh no, only yes. a two count. We haven't even had an elimination job, yet. And a Pele kick by Koto Bushi. you got to admit, this has been a great triple threat. And only Indeed a one it has. count by Indeed Ricochet. It has. Man, this match is unbelievable. On, this could be match of the year for FOW so far. Oh, and this, the, look at that move again. What is this? Oh my goodness. The body should not bend that way. Ricochet oh, no. is on What's... another level. What's he doing? Oh! Oh! Flying uppercut. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. This okay, is... good, good job, Mark. Good job. Uh oh. Oh, and look, Kotobushi was smart there, too. Then uh, now the ring. What is Rik oh. Ricochet doing? Oh, my goodness. Oh. Right on the hardest part of Jeez. the ring. Oh, it's, it's good. It's steps. good forethought. But now he's got to get him in the ring and pin him. That's going to be the tough part. That is true. Oh, my goodness. It just... Irish whipping Kota Bushi until he just couldn't had no strength in his legs. What is Ricochet thinking though? Oh man, we better get out Can't of here. Can't believe he's using a tape. Can't believe he's using a table like this. Oh no, pop! Oh my goodness, right on the face. Uh oh, can he be going for six thirty again? Oh, but Kota Bushi standing in the way. Oh, spinning <laughs> heel kick off the top. Come on, Pac, you got him. Oh, big Pac's kick. Pac's got this. Pac's I know. Pac thinking. Uh oh, this could be it. Quick, oh. one, two. Oh. Okay, that was definitely a three. That was a one count. Uh oh, Pac going up. This might be the first time he's going up top. What is he thinking? Oh, oh, the no. Shade. But Ricochet getting the knees up. 
Frankensteiner. He should, he should have been working that neck and going with the rings of Saturn. Jesus. Someone's been putting something in my juice. Sounds like it. Oh, and another one. To, ah, and then one to Coda. Ricochet is on fire. He's getting that second wind. 6.30 to Kota Ibushi. That's got to be it. Oh, my goodness. What? How did he kick out of that? Oh, did you see Ricochet block that drop kick to the legs? That was great. Indeed, I did. Hey, you, you got to give Ricochet props on that one. Props definitely go to Ricochet. But guess what? It's Pac matches to win. Yes, it is. What is, what is he doing? Oh, went for a drop kick with missed. This has been a really good triple threat match. And now head to the... To, oh my goodness! Repeated! Oh my goodness! Ricochet has got to be out. If I was Kota Ibushi, I would be going for that last right powerbomb now. I would be too. Oh, and it, oh my goodness, I thought that was it. You see, he should have won with that powerbomb. He probably should have. Ricochet trying to fight back. It looks like they're trying to do a two-on-one. Oh, big time backdrop on the neck. Uh-oh. Pop getting the second win here. Needs to go for that. He needs to go for the rings Ooh. of Saturn. Especially on Coda. Especially on Coda. Coda. And that knee to the face might have knocked out Pop. Mm. Oh, my goodness. This match. I can't believe we haven't even had an elimination yet in this match. This has been at I know, least, very surprising. This has been at least a 12 or 13 minute match so far. Maybe even longer. And you see the walls of Jericho. Look at the leg strength by Kota Ibushi. And now Kota Ibushi's getting a second one. So all three men might have given their last, you know, chance effort in this match. Uh oh. Ooh. It's all about the will to survive here. Yes, it is. And who, who will be able to do that? And his name is Pac. Yeah. And now these two on the outside and Ricochet's trying to get up. He's getting a little bit of a breather. And just Kota Bushi is just wearing down Pac on the outside. What is this? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I Good old-fashioned Macho Man X drop. I can't believe it. Hello. Oh, oh my goodness, on the outside. A flatliner. Good job, Ricochet. Yes, it was. And I can't believe Kota Bushi's even thinking about getting up. Oh, my goodness. Oh. What was that? That looked like a, a, a mix of a leg drop and a, a drop kick. But whatever it was, it knocked out Look. the car. Indeed, it did. Oh, and they're knocking Pac out. Uh-oh. Not again. Oh, oh! I don't know what Ricochet tried to do, but... He kind of got a drop kick. He was trying Dakota. to go on... Yeah, he was trying to drop kick Pac and Dakota at the same time. But couldn't do the job. No, but I think he did get a little bit on Kota Bushi Because, you know, he, he kind of looked like he just got knocked for a loop. But... Oh! Did he just punch both? Oh! He did. He definitely did. Uh-oh. Ooh! That kick to the face. The side of the head, but Pac! Keep on going, Pac. You got this. Man, th this has been a long triple threat match, but one hell of a match. Reversal after reversal. At this point, I don't know who will win this triple threat match. Uh oh, here it goes. Oh no. Oh no. And Ricochet smart. Last the right. Oh, and he's not going for the cover. What the heck? He should have went for the cover. Oh, that gives Pac an opportunity. And what's Ricochet thinking here? Oh my goodness. That side sweeping leg kick. 
is what is Pac thinking now? Uh oh. No, Pac! Oh my goodness! Beautiful it's Frankensteiner! Beautiful oh. Frankensteiner! But right when he gets in the ring, he gets caught by a drop kick and ricochets up top. Oh no. What the what? He's not going for Pac? Who is he going for? He doesn't know who. Oh. Exactly. And a freaking starter by Ricochet into a cover. One. No, 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 no. Oh, Pac's no! eliminated. We will have a new Vanaway champion after this. Damn it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at the German suplex in the bridge. This could be it. One, two. Oh, and Kota Bushi kicking out. What? Oh. Kota never kicked out. Oh. Ricochet going up top. Will Ricochet end up winning the Bantamweight Championship here? Uh oh. This could be it. Going for it. Oh, and he hit it. This could be it. And a kick out by Kota Ibushi. Oh my. Kota has this extra engine in him. I can't believe it. I don't know who can win this match. I thought Ricochet had him there. Uh oh. Look at this. Look at the strength. Oh man. That may be it for Ricochet. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. 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 oh that my. Kinshasa like maneuver. And, a one and it's a one. How in the hell did Ricochet on oh, a clothesline? Lights out. That might be it. And it is good old fashioned Dan Hansen. I think, yes, I think I love knee, it. I think that knee to the face is what really knocked Ricochet for a loop. And I think on instinct, he kicked out, but then the clothesline was just all she wrote. I'm gonna put it down to that lariat. Stan Hansen knows a good lariat, and so do I. Yeah, uh, well, you got a good. Uh, a good opinion on that one, but all in all, you gotta admit this was a great triple threat match. Right down from the indeed it was from the bell to bell. This Kota Bushi is a two-time bantamweight championship now. Two-time, two-time bantamweight champion Kota Ibushi, and the very first title changing hands tonight. I know, and I can't believe Pac didn't win it. Oh, um, yeah, he was very so close. So sad. Very close. But... But we have the I next match. Well, I'll ask the produ get the producer to bring me a Gatorade. Gatorade. <laughs> what, do you want a Coke? Hey, hey, give me a Coke. Thanks. He knows what I want. Oh, I don't know what you want. Give me a Coke. You know what? Can you tell them to bring me a Dr. Pepper? Yeah. Hey, Gatorade for this guy. You son of a bitch. But up next, Adam Cole defending his international championship for the first time in a triple threat steel cage match against Seth Rollins and Kevin Owens. Who's your early prediction I for need this to... match? Well, before that, I need to talk to this Jack Tunney character for putting people in these triple threat matches. Why? Why do we need triple threats? We need to do it mano y mano. Can't believe it. Oh, well... You gotta admit that triple threat last match was very, very good. And this is not an elimination. First pinfall or submission will win the international championship. Can Adam Cole defend it tonight, though? He certainly may do it. I don't know about KO, but KO has the eye of a killer on him tonight, it looks like. So, who, any early predictions on who will win this match? Mm. It's going to be a tricky one. 
because it's three it's guys. Either gonna really K- it's either going to be K. It's either going to be K.O. or Adam Cole, baby. You don't have any, 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 any uh, positive reaction to Seth Rollins. So it looks like you don't think Seth Rollins can win this match. Seth could, but I don't think it's likely. Well, we're going to see who has the... Well, in my opinion, you, 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 in this kind of certain situation, you have a steel cage. You got to go with a big man like Kevin Owens because, you know, he can throw you against that cage as hard as possible. Yes, but you also have to remember, Adam Cole is a little bit sprightly, so he's able to think on his feet. That is, that is especially with... Especially with that animal KO in the ring, as well as that crafty Seth Rollins there, too. Yep, you're right. As you can see, who you just mentioned, Seth Rollins, coming out. What's what's up with this burn it down stuff? I don't know, but do you like that Spider-Man attire he has on? He looks like a deviant. Oh my goodness. How dare you. What's the Spider-Man you talk of anyways? The Spider-Man? Comics? Yeah. You don't know? It Never heard of him. Oh my gosh. He would. You see, I wasn't busy reading comic books when I was in Japan. I was wrestling. You know, a thing. Look at this deviant Seth Rollins here. Can't believe him. You were wrestling in Japan, huh? Yeah. See, they never showed my matches because I was way too good. Well, so you think... You think Seth Rollins has no chance? I don't... It, it's possible, but I don't think so. Oh, he is a guy who can burn it down. Can he burn it down in this steel cage match? That's the question. Or will... Adam Cole... Defend this title... And show why they call him Baby. Baby. He reminds me a lot of an arson. Not Adam Cole. Seth Rollins. Um, I don't understand that, but I think uh, when it comes to a guy like Adam Uh Cole, I think he's like an assassin. He's like a ninja. He can strike at any time and take the win at any time. Especially if he hits you with that knee. But he also has the brains. Yes, he does. I'll, I'll give you props yeah. on that. I'll, I'll give I'll give you the benefit of the doubt on that one. I think Adam Cole, you know, he he's very smart. He's very he knows how to use his strategies in the right forms. But the only thing is, he he can't use the outside in this match. It's all inside the steel cage. He it may be true, but guess what? He's going to figure out a way to win this match for sure. I don't know what the game plan is for Adam Cole, but if I was him, I would make sure to let the other two guys fight it out and then just climb over. Let them be too distracted with each other. That is true. He is smart. He could possibly do that. Or will one of these guys actually, you know, what what if these guys don't even use the top of the cage or even try to escape? That's also another thing we haven't thought of. You know, a quick roll up, schoolboy, anything, you know, anything's possible. As you can see, that's what it's for. The International Championship of FOW. Bay Bay. You see, I wouldn't even pin. It's going to take you more energy to pin someone than to climb the cage. That is true. Look at Kevin Owens just right off the gate. Just running and shoulder tapping. Adam Cole wasn't ready for that. No, he was not. And I like that. That 
that maneuver he just did to Seth Rollins' arm. Russian leg sweep. Oh, look at the forearms by Adam Cole. What is this? Oh my goodness. Go for a pin, but that was only a one count, it looked like. Indeed it did. Indeed it did. The only thing is, you really don't know who's getting the cover here. Ooh, look at that move to Adam Cole. Kevin Owens is one of those guys who is smart like Adam Cole. So you got guys, two guys like that. Ooh, look at the fat drop to Adam Cole's back of his neck. I'd be very cautious that I was Adam Cole. Let the other two men fight it out. Let them just be enthralled with each other. Well, you're Don't right. get involved. Well, the only thing is, it's kind of hard to do that in a steel cage. That right hand to Adam Cole just knocking him down instantly. Oh, look at that neck breaker. Oh, and the forearm shots by Adam Cole. Haven't seen much of the Adam cage Cole. used yet. I know, Adam Cole almost got thrown into the cage, but he stopped himself really, really quickly. That, that was very smart of Adam Cole to see where he was going. Uh-oh. Oh, my oh. gosh, right on the back. Uh-oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that had to hurt. You saw the neck come off the, the ropes and then his back of his head on the cage. And that's what I think Kevin Owens is smart to do with his big body. And and I'm not fat shaming either. I'm just saying he's a big boy, so he's got more power with those throws. But you see, Stan Hansen was a big guy too. But guess what? Kevin mm -hmm. Owens, way, way better than Stan Hansen. That, well, that is... That, that's that's kind of wrong, but okay. Very negative. What is Adam Cole? Oh! Again, somebody's using... Oh, good Cole. job, Adam. Good job. That was a good kick to the face of Kevin Owens. Uh-oh, Adam Cole. This is Cole. the time when you start flying. Uh-oh. Oh. Ooh, knee to the cage. Oh, my. Oh. Oh. That had to hurt. Uh-oh. Oh, Seth Rollins. That could be it. One count. I don't know if you can hear what the referee's saying, but he is counting. What is Seth Rollins? He should climb up the cage. Oh my goodness, moonsault! Oh. That could be it. One, two, and a kick out. Oh. See, Adam Cole needs to start working on Seth a little bit. You see, oh. KO is starting to drift away a little bit. But K if when Adam Cole starts working on Seth and starts slowing him down, that's when he should attempt oh. to go out the cage. Yes, that is true. Adam Cole, another forearm shot, and they got to realize what Kevin Owens is doing, and yes, they do. Oh, Kevin Owens. Why is nobody using the door? I don't I know. I don't understand that. I, I don't understand why. Oh, that could be it on Adam Cole. One, and only a one count by Adam Cole on that one. You got to admit, this is a pretty difficult choice, you know, to pick who's going to win this match, because they're all three really good. Oh! Indeed. Oh! And then a backdrop. Crown of the head. Uh oh, uh -oh here we go on. again. Oh! My oh. Right on the back of the head and neck. Uh oh. Oh! Super kick by Seth. Urgh. Uh-oh. What is Seth doing? Uh-oh. What is this? Oh, no. Reverse it. Curve oh. stuff. Mm. Uh-oh. Kevin Owens was trying to... Uh-oh. Look at this. Forearm. Oh. Sling blade. Switchblade. Now Seth Rollins is going up the cage to try to escape. But Adam Cole was too quick. Oh. Uh-oh. Kick to the face of Adam Cole. What is Seth Rollins? Oh, look at that. Oh. Double axe Macho hammer. Man style axe drop. Uh-oh, what is Seth thinking? 
Super kick off the Super top. Super oh kick. Gosh. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Did you? And Kevin Owens. Oh, out of the pool. Oh, he got Oh, a big time there. Lariat clothesline. It's and just a clothesline. He needs to run for a lariat. Clothesline. Now look at the cheating One, man Cole. Two. And Kevin uh, Owens kicking out. Oh, a Instagram. little slow on that count. And all three men are showing the reason why they should be. Oh, the international champion. Oh. And now Seth Rollins going up top, trying to escape the cage to win this match. Come on, Kevin. Uh, there he is. Yes. I'm going to kick this Kevin Owens now. Uh-oh, what is Seth thinking? Oh, and another axe handle off the top rope. Oh, I am Cole needs to be worried about his neck a little bit now. Yes, he does. And what is the... Oh, no. Another one. Another curb stomp. Oh. Jesus. Oh, uh-oh. Seth Two. Rollins. Two curb stomps. This could be it. Holy Seth? crap. What? What's he doing? Oh, I see. Seth Rollins is putting... One, two, two, three, and he just beat Adam what? Cole. He went for the I cover. I can't on, believe. He went for the cover on Kevin Owens, got off of him, and he wanted to rub it in Adam Cole's face by pinning him. Oh, just a salt in the wound. That's it. Salt in the wound. But Seth Rollins, you said he had a good chance of winning this match. And he did. He's the new international champion. And look at that super kick. Are none of my boys going to win? I can't believe it. Uh, I guess your predictions are just not working, huh? I know. First, I thought, you know, my girl was going to win it. Now, this? Well, Adam Cole is the new international champion. But up next is the main event. We don't know who the third person is in this triple threat match, steel cage match for the FOW Championship. But we do know two competitors. It's the brand new FOW Champion, CM Punk, and the former FOW Champion, AJ Styles. But who is the third member in this triple threat? That's going to be answered in just a few minutes. Again, I need to talk to Jack Tunney about this triple threat. Wait a minute. AJ Styles? Yes, AJ Styles is in this match. Oh, look at this man. AJ Styles, the former FOW champion, lost to CM Punk at Destined for Greatness. But we don't know who the third member is. Uh, Jim Tunney also said that he had something up his sleeve for the third man so he said he wanted to give somebody an opportunity who deserves one and has proven that in recent weeks so I wonder who that could be it could be a yeah long it's going to be very interesting yes especially with Jack Tunney wanting to do triple threats all the time well this is give everybody a chance rah, 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 rah. oh well why, why don't you just stop being negative you're getting really good matches. Why Why can't we just have a normal one-on-one -on -one match? You know? We did. I want to see a Stan Hansen versus Vader match. Like these good old times back in Japan. We did have AJ Styles and CM Punk at the last pay-per-view Destined for Greatness one-on-one. -on -one, which was a shocker that CM Punk was the surprise opponent for AJ. And a lot of people has have said... Just because AJ Styles didn't know who his opponent was, that, that kind of threw him off. Uh-oh, what is this? You hear that music? Oh. What? My. Gosh. Boys, protect your fingers at all costs. Yeah. Pete Dunne is the third man? AJ Styles, Pete Dunne, CM Punk... For the future wrestling championship in the main event in a steel cage? God have mercy on our souls. 
Pete Dunne is going to break some fingers tonight. Oh, man. I already got carpal tunnel. I don't need to see any more hands be broken, please. Because it hurts my hands. Just watching it. You got to agree with that for once. Can we agree on one thing? Nope. Nope. More fingers need to be broken. Or watch out for your fingers, at least. Exactly. Triple H would be so proud of Pete Dunne right now. Well, he has proven in recent weeks by beating Will Osprey in a two out of three falls match on the very first episode. Even with Big Show at ringside to try to cause him a distraction, but still did not throw him off. And then the next week, he had a 30-minute Iron Man match. Who Pete Dunne actually came back to win with two falls in 30 seconds. So, he has proven, without a shadow of a doubt, and as you guys can see, that is the new FOW Championship. It's a new design that CM Punk has asked for. And it looks so beautiful around his waist. Look at it. Yes, I gotta agree with you. I can't believe I have to do that. Very, very wrong. What's your problem with CM Punk? Huh? There's, there's no problem with CM Punk. There's no problem. I think he's just I very feel... I have a bad feeling that someone's not telling the truth. Well, I think he's, he's a quitter. And he's just coming here to spoil everyone's fun. Okay. You heard it. From me. Oh. Did he do something to you in the backstage area too? Gosh. That was a beautiful champion, by the way. That is a beautiful champion. It does look like a... Yes, a CM Punk is very, very beautiful. Is there, is there something you would like to tell us, Scotty? Well, I mean, you said he was a beautiful champion, so... I said the champion, not him. Well, he is the champion. In, Are you talking about the belt? And Jim Tunney, uh, Jim Tunney needs to inform me in the headset. What, what is this steel cage? What is this, like a death trap? It looks like something from ECW. And I'm hearing oh, the headset. It's beautiful. That this, this is a death trap steel cage. That there is actual barbed wire on the edges of the steel cage on the top. Wow, it looks even better from Japan. Gosh, look at that Pele kick. Did you see that? Oh, Indeed, I did. He done. Did you see that kick? Uh-oh. All right, so it, oh, AJ Styles just coming in out of nowhere. Yep. CM Punk needs to work on those legs by AJ Styles. Now, any early predictions? Who are you going to predict to win this match? Oh! I'm not going to predict diddly squat. Well, you, you like all three men, don't you? Maybe. Did you see Pete Dunn's back hit the, 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 the barbed wire around the edges of the steel cage? That's nasty for sure. Who called in the CZW cage guy? I don't know. All I know is this is supposed to be like an extreme match, so... Oh! Oh! There's got to be a cut on AJ Styles' face now. AJ Styles is not going to be liking that in the morning. No, 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 sir. I don't think any men want to... I don't even think they want to be thrown into the steel cage or even touch it. Because there's barbed wire just like, just, it's very thin. You can't really see it, but there is barbed wire. It's that special kind of barbed wire. Yeah. And then you got barbed wire on the top where those um, platforms are. Yeah, right next to the engine and the uh, fender over there. Yeah, you see it. Oh, Pete Dunn is just taking it to all both all both men. This could be it. Oh, and a one count. 
I want to see Pete Dunne become a champion. Uh oh. Oh, rock it on the head. Oh. Uh oh. Taking something out of Finn Balor's playbook. Uh oh. Oh, you see, I'm telling you, if you take out AJ's leg, he won't be able to do that. Yeah, and see. There comes the punkster. AJ Styles had him in the calf crusher. Oh! And Pete Dunn's just, you know. Uh oh. Pete Dunn's oh, just wow. happy to be there. Oh! Did you see that? He actually landed a little bit on AJ. Oh, nice Looking nasty. Oh, and Pete Dunn missed. Pete Dunn reversed the kick to the head and with a big time kick to the face. Uh oh. Indeed he did. Oh, oh. Look at them shots. Indeed. Uh oh. Look at the reversal by AJ in a flying forearm. This match is going to be hard to predict any anyway. Uh oh. Here it is. Oh, oh no. Stop, Stop Clash. Clash. This could be it on Pete Dunn. And CM Punk. Good job, I see him Punk get kicking. Russian Lake Sweet to AJ Styles. And going for a cover Beautiful. on Pete Dunn, that's smart. But Pete Dunn is not having it. He kicked out at one. Uh oh. That's that's wrestling maneuver by a I mean CM Punk. Oh, oh. I had to hurt. Good job by CM Punk. Uh oh. What's CM Punk thinking? He's climbing up the barbed wire. In the steel. Well, he, well, you see, he's protected enough by his boots that he should be able to get out. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! What is? He Dunn's up there. Come on, come on, CM Punk. Oh, oh! Kick it, Pete Dunn. Oh, and there goes Pete Dunn on. Oh, oh no! AJ. AJ. Oh, both AJ's men. out. Come on, Punk. What is Punk? You got this. Punk. What? Punk? Oh, what? what is Punk? No, 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 no. No. Oh my gosh. Oh my. God. Punk. Jesus. I can't. Oh no. And Pete Dunn. Oh, right to the back. Work in the midsection. Uh oh. Ooh. Now that could be it. Face Buster. One. Two and a kick out. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Good job, Punk. That was smart. What's he thinking here on AJ? Uh oh. Ooh, right to the head. Oh, what a bad oh. drop on the neck. Off the top oh. two. Extra impact. Oh, nice reversal by Pete oh. Dunn. Uh, nope, not happening. Oh, spinning heel kick. Shades of like a Shelton Benjamin. Indeed, good job by Punk. Oh, chop and a Indeed. chop back. Oh. CM Punk needs to start getting ready for that GTS. Oh. Yeah. Kick to the face of AJ. And Pete Dunn just fighting. I still can't believe AJ Styles. CM Punk didn't go for the pinfall after that big time splash off the top of the cage. Pete Dunn going for a cover though. One, two, and a kick off by CM Punk as AJ breaks it up. Pele kick on his. Oh my goodness, that could be a knockout. Ooh, yeah. Again, leg. you take out AJ's legs and you'll <clears throat> and you'll ground him for sure. Working on the legs of Pete Dunn. Oh, multiple elbow drops. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Uh -oh. oh no. GTS. This could be it. Coming out big. One. Two. See him. Oh. And that was smart. You said it. If you can wear out Pete Dunn, Pete Dunn won't be able to get back up. And CM Punk saw that and took a full advantage of it with the GTS to AJ. Indeed. You, you CM Punk it. knew his spot. This was a great main event and I, match. And I called it from the beginning. Punk was going to win it all. Uh, you, you said you didn't have a prediction. No, I said Punk was going to win. Roll the tape back. You'll hear it. 
Uh, we're live, so we can't really do that. Well, you can hear it. People will know. And as you can see, CM Punk retains the FOW Championship. What is next for CM the Punk? The best. The best FOW Champion of all time. He is the best in the world, he says. So, and he's proved it tonight, retaining. That affair is fair itself. And that fear is CM Punk. Well, that was the main event of this afternoon. And CM Punk retains. All five matches happened. And we're done though, Scotty. It's been good to have a have this show with you tonight. And we I'll see you next week. Scotty? Oh, he's done walked off on me already. I looked over and he's gone. How dare he? Well, ladies, I got my coke back. You got your coke back. Yeah, that guy stole it from me again. I can't believe it. Of course. He but that's all. That's all for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. From Scotty and myself, this is FOW Breaking the Chains. Good night, everyone. See you later, Marks.